We need to be very aware of what is happening in the world to pick up the trend. If we miss it, we miss it. Food in industry to me is old fashioned. We probably have been doing the way that we are making food for many, many years. We are not really following what's out there as a technology or what kind of technology can help us in terms of speeding up the process. In general, as an industry, our main focus is to make a good food. So for Kellogg's, as you know, it's a food company. So whatever we create is going to go into people's stomach. So of course, we always have to make sure the food is safe and the packaging is safe to contain the food shelf life. And let's just use the example of Pringles. Pringles has significant iconic cans as a, a, a canister. We can't just create a paper can to ship it to the market because Southeast Asia is the temperature is very hot. The product have to be edible and safe for everyone. So we are in the middle of working very hard to see, so what can we do? We have a very big a CSR program called Better Days. So this program is to ritually um, feed the people in need. So because we produce food, so we try to donate these foods to the people who don't really have a breakfast or someone who is having an issue of feeding a children. But we've spent a lot of time to make sure that as a company, we give these food to the people in need. What we have recently did this year was the plant in Malaysia, we replaced the electronic electric to a solar panel so that at least we can generate the power within the organization. It's a small step, but as this region is very hot and we have continuously nice sun, so why don't we try to use that power to generate the power for the plant? We are always facing how quickly the world and trend and what people are interested changes over the period of sometimes two weeks. Let's say some new flavor comes up in Korea and then suddenly picked up in Australia and then picked up in South Africa. So we need to be very aware of what is happening in the world to pick up the trend. If we miss it, we miss it. So it's, it's, it's quite difficult for us to be always hearing what's happening in the world as we are a food company. We're not a data analysis or we're not getting any information. We really have to open up and listen what's happening in the world. Otherwise, we'll just miss it like that. So two years ago or so, there's a trend that it has to be savory and sweet combined together. And when the trend kicked in in Korea, that day from the day that we know the trend until we execute, it took us about one year to execute it. It's because we have to work with Seizing House. We have to make sure the plant can create it. We have to ship it to the Korea. So by the time we can launch it, the trend is over. So then how could it be better if I knew the trend before the trend even starts? But again, that's very difficult to catch the trend when we are just sitting as the manufacturer. We do a social listening, we do a consumer research. We try to understand what's the trend. We handle from Southeast Asia, ANZ, Far East, Japan, Korea, and India and South Africa. Now this is completely different, like geographical background where even we have a trend in India, doesn't really apply for Far East or Japan and Hong Kong, Taiwan. Which trend is the right trend to pick and which trend is the right one to let go so that as a business, at the end of the day, we still have to continue as a business. As a business, it makes sense. At the moment, we don't really have exact tool to tackle the issue. We're more like reacting to what's happening in, in the issue happens to the company. If there is a tool where, let's say, if some news is picking up a negative news of Kellogg's, if we can pick it up, and then try to respond as quickly as possible. 
um, that will be very helpful rather than the issue comes and then goes through the whole organization. By the time it came to, let's say, my level, it's way too late that we have to solve so much problem or we need to communicate with so much different type of counterpart to clear the issue. We do have a very good uh, global team when the issue, like issue management team, where if anything happens, even in US or Europe, within, I would say, three to six hours, it will go through whole region. Because we have US, Europe, and Southeast Asia, and Latin America. So all these four offices will, will get together and try to get the answer as soon as possible. So we do have a very good communication through the organization, so that the issue management is more like an issue team and we will tackle as soon as we, we know the issue.